In this video, we'll be showing how to wire a solenoid valve to the W600 controller. The tools we're going to use are a flathead screwdriver, a smaller flathead screwdriver, a much smaller one, and the instructions highlighting the wiring diagram for the relays. Before doing any wiring on the controller, make sure the controller is powered down. Before you wire up any of the relays, you have to remove the plastic cover. There's a screw inside, you use your larger flathead screwdriver, and you pull the cover right off. Let's take a look at the wiring diagram inside the instruction book for the W600. Here's a solenoid valve. You have one wire going to R1 on normally open, another wire going to the neutral on TB5, and then if there's a ground, it'll go to TB4. Inside the controller, you'll see R1 and the normally opened. This is TB5 where the other wire goes, and the ground goes on TB4. So let's wire it up. The solenoid valve we'll be using has three wires. It has the ground wire and two other wires. Normally a solenoid valve would have a hot and a neutral. For this solenoid valve, the one that we sell, ASCO, uh, polarity is not critical. So there is no designated hot or neutral wire. So we'll just wire this up into the controller. Here's a closer look inside the controller where we'll be wiring the solenoid valve. One of the wires will be going to the normally open of R1. Another wire will be going into TB5. And the ground will be wired to TB4. You start by pulling the wires through one of the connectors on the bottom, making sure you have plenty of wire to work with when you connect them to the controller. Also, make sure the ends of the wires are not frayed and make, make them nice and clean so they get a nice good connection. Then I'll take one of the wires and put it into relay one, the normally open. Use a small flathead screwdriver to loosen the set screw, place the wire in, and then tighten it down, making sure you have a, a good firm connection. Connect the other wire to TB5 the same way. Loosen the set screw, insert the wire, and then tighten. And finally, the ground. Okay, so now I have the solenoid valve all wired up, and I'm going to test it to make sure it's all correct. So on relay one, mode is off, I'll turn it on hand. There's the valve opening, and the valve closing. In addition to the solenoid valve, I've wired in a conductivity sensor. For the blowdown relay, I have the set point of 2000 and a dead band of 200. So watch what happens when I put it in the higher conductivity water. The conductivity goes over 2000 and the solenoid valve turns on. And what it does is it blows down the tower while adding fresh makeup water. That lowers the conductivity until it gets below the set point minus the dead band, and you can see it actually went below 1800, and now it's above 1800, but the relay is off. So that prevents chattering. So it works.